Hello, friends and artists. Mrs. Gordon here um, with you after you just watched the fabulous video um, of Mr. Peter H. Reynolds' books, The Word Collector. Um, so for a brand new year, I thought it would be an amazing opportunity for you guys to set um, what your intention is for this year by collecting some words, collecting some words that you want to be the focus of your year. Um, and we're doing this as part of our lettering unit. So we're not just right, making a list of words for 2021, but we're really being thoughtful about those words and we're using those words to create some art um, because I really think that that's gonna make it stick and make it a wonderful year. So here's the next piece that I've done. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate how you can do uh, a drawing for very similar to this. So I've put my name in here, my first name, and I put the word, I put the year 2021, and then I've added some words that I want to draw this year. I want to really be doing more drawing. I want to be peaceful this year. Um, I want to do some more painting this year. I want to continue to spend time loving and spending time with my family. Uh, and I want to take some road trips to continue working on being healthy, uh, eating good food, and uh, making lots of art, and saving more and spending less. So I'm going to show you how you can make a piece of art very much like this. You will need to start with a piece of paper. Um, and one way that when, you, when you're lettering, you can really make your art uh, and your letters and your words stand out is by writing bubble or block letters. Um, now on this one, I just went ahead and I wrote my letters out and then I kept the lines in the middle. You can do that or you don't have to. I'll show you how to do it. Um, I'm going to start with, the, I'm going to find the middle letter of my name. So my name is Nicole and I'm going to write Nicole's like apostrophe S. Yes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. So I know that I need the O and the L Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. <laughs> it's not eight. Seven. I need the O. The O is my middle letter. So that's the one that I'm going to put in the middle of my page. So that's tip number one. Find the middle letter of your name. And then I'm going to write the rest of my name. And I can do a combination of capitals and uh, periods, or capitals and lowercase, sorry, not capitals and periods. It's been a long day. So there's my name written nice and big. I got it centered by putting it in the middle. And now I'm going to go ahead and bubble or block it. Um, so now I'm, this is going to be the center of my word. I'm going to create the shape of the letter around it just by blocking in around. So letter O is always fun because you have to do the outside and then you have to do the inside. Okay. Now that I've got my name written in bubble and block letters, um, I can go back in later and erase if I wanted to, or I can keep it there. Um, for my other another tip, tip number two for this demonstration is use a big eraser for big erasing. Don't burn up your little tiny pencil eraser for big erasing like this. Okay. And then I'm setting this in these intentions for 2021. I'm collecting words for 2021. So I want to go ahead and write 2021. Okay, 2021. So my 2002 is going to be in the middle. So slightly 0, 2, and then 1, and then 2 at the beginning, 2021. And then I'm going to bubble it. Maybe I'll bubble this one. 
So now I'm using curvy lines. There you go. So once you've got your words written out, um, then uh, you're going to start to add your words around it. And what I did was I added my words inside of shapes. So if I wanted to save money, I went ahead and maybe I could make money or maybe I could make coins or this time, this time I did like a money sign that I think I don't know. You could also just write, see, I'll make it be like dollars. So rectangles. And here I'll write, maybe I'll do it in cursive. want to save me some money. Okay, so I've got save is one of my words of intent. I think down here. I'm going to add a paintbrush and paint. will be one of my words of intent for 2021, okay. Maybe over here, I wanna to continue to work on being heart healthy in my food and exercise choices. So I'm going to be healthy this year. Um, I do love the idea of being peaceful and having a peace sign. Let's see, that's one, two, three. I want to shoot for six, really. Um, let's see. I love the idea of, let's see here. Maybe I want to do this in pencil. F-A-M-I-L. Why? So I want to continue to spend time with my family. I'm gonna hang in there, get it? I'm hanging my little hearts. Oh, this one's gonna to have to go all the way there. All right, so family, so you could put a different, make a different um, shape for each letter. And then once I have that, well, maybe I want them all hanging from up here. Because so, it looked weird to me that that one was hanging there. And that'll help with what I'm doing next. So family is still going to be important. I want to save. I want to be healthy. I've got one, two, three, four. I need two more. I do want it to be peaceful, and I do want to travel. I want to travel with my family because I missed doing that in so much in 2021. travel down the road and I have space for one more and I think that I want to spread joy and peace and so I think I'm going to try to write the name write the make a smiley face using cursive oh my goodness my cursive teacher would not be happy with me. Oh, 
Does that look like a smile to you? Maybe if I add a, face, a smiley face there for the J. It's kind of in the smile. Listen, not everything works. I do think it looks like a smile. And when you're doing lettering, uh, that's how you can have, you can create interesting, you can write your words in interesting ways, whether they be in the shape of something interesting or whether they're doing something interesting. Um, you know, you're just trying to think of creative ways to write things. Once I've got my words all written out, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some pattern to the background. So maybe I'll add some curved lines, just kind of filling up the space in the background. Maybe I add some zigzag lines like mountains for traveling. So I'm just gonna fill in patterns maybe I use shapes to make patterns. I might add a little big shape for my paint down here that I'm painting with. Maybe I'll make some more dots. But I'm just trying to fill in the spaces behind my words. different patterns just to make it interesting and not everything has to have one there's already a pattern right here so that's in good shape do a wavy line over here after you finish designing your paper with all of your intent Ooh, a castle line. And by repeating that castle line, or repeating all of my lines, I start to create a pattern. And it makes my work look more interesting. If you liked it the way it was, you certainly can stop there. Just trying to use a variety of lines here. Oh, I did want to have that dot. I forgot about that. Mm, thinking of a cool kind of line that I could make. Maybe I just want to repeat this curved line over here. All right. Um, one sure. Uh, words are written and you're, you've designed your paper, um, you can go ahead and color it in. Uh, for this one, I just colored in with some crayons and then I painted over um, and I used some kind of um, fluorescent -y colors. They didn't come out quite as dark as I thought they would, but they're still pretty great. Um, but I hope you enjoy this opportunity to really state your intent for 2021. What kind of year is it going to be for you? What are things you want to do this year, things you want to accomplish? What kind of person do you want to be this year? I can't wait to see what you do. Um, I'm so excited about the word collector and about um, you learning about lettering for the whole month of January. And um, can't wait to see you. Take care, friends and artists.